Hi there, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can re-upload your course content files without affecting your customer's access to those files. All right, now to do this, all you have to do is basically just come to your seller dashboard. Once you are here, click on your menu icon, then you go to all products, all right? Once you're in all products, you just want to filter for your courses right away. So you go to your product category here, you just click on courses so that your courses load up. Then you click on filter. So it will bring up all of your existing courses that you want to re-upload content to. Now this content that you want to re-upload can be video content, resource, resources for downloads too as well. Now I'll just click on the sample content here, the sample course here. You click on this icon here and then you click on edit. All right, so you click on edit. This will give you a chance to edit your content. Now. If you are here, you know you might notice that your product image is no longer loading. All you just have to do is simply drag and drop your product image to re-upload it. All right, just drag and drop it, and it's going to re-upload. Then you can delete the former video. All right, so you can just simply delete the former image. I mean, so to do that, we'll just click on X, the X icon, and this would go away. All right. Now you just scroll to the bottom to be sure that everything here is in order and then you can update your product, all right? Once you're satisfied with the image upload, you just simply up update your product and it will show you a success message saying, congratulations, you have done that successfully. Now this is not all. For you to re-upload your course videos, you just simply come to manage course curriculum right here at the top. When you click on manage course curriculum, you can just simply look for the video content that you want to re-upload and click on manage lecture content or you batch upload your files. Now to make this easy, you can come to your course section. So now we, here we have a main section and a bonus section as well as a downloadable module section. So you can click on any section that you want. If you see that this is a video file you want to re-upload, you just simply click on manage lecture content. Once you click on manage content, lecture content, you can either create a new course resource here, all right? You can create a new course resource here to upload your new content, all right? But before you do that, just click on batch upload files. This is where you're going to upload your videos. This is where you're going to re-upload your videos, okay? You can drag and drop your video files here or just click on um, the browse section and it will load the videos on your device. All right, now here's an important tip to note, okay? You want to, be able, you want to do this on your existing course. So you're not supposed to create a new course, but you're supposed to do this on your existing curriculum so that you can just simply edit it and re-upload your content. All right, now our video has been re-uploaded. We'll just simply click done. But again, you can upload as many video files as you want and simply select them later on, okay? So, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to be uploading one, re-uploading one video content, and I'll click done. Once I click done, all right, and it has successfully uploaded, you can come to your resource panel here. You see that you have a file manager. You just tap on this arrow pointing downwards, and then you look for the video that you just uploaded. All right, so now you can see here that my, my uploaded video has shown up here. I'll just click on it. That's it there. It's all, it's all there now for this video portion. And then I would save it, all right? So you save it and you notice a success message saying, hey, um, your lecture resource has been updated. Okay, now that is how you can re-upload a video to one of your courses, all right? Once you're done with that, you just simply go back to your curriculum here. Okay, now assuming you want to re-upload a PDF file or an audio file, it is the same process, all right? So you just click on Manage Lecture Content, and then you batch upload your files, then you select them in the dropdown, okay? Now, for the purpose of this other section, I'm going to batch upload a new PDF file so that my students can have access to it. I'll just drag and drop this here, and then once this bar ticks to the end, I would know that it has been successfully updated. All right, so it's green, I'll click done. 
and then I will just scroll down to my PDF section click on the arrow downwards and then look for my my recently up, uploaded PDF okay so I guess it's still uploading and then once it's done it's going to show up here okay so while it is uploading we're just going to give it a, give it a minute as the content is uploading and then we can look for it down here okay so I guess um, it hasn't yet uploaded so I will just upload it again so you want to be sure that your your content actually does upload okay so we'll give this a minute again all right so you want to wait for the green bar to tick off completely and then once it's here once it's this way you can just click on done and then you should see it down below here all right so there it is so you click on it and then you click save okay good it's saved your content has been successfully updated all right then you just go back to your curriculum here and then you can do the same for videos and PDF items alike. Okay, the same thing goes for um, MP3 videos. You just simply hit manage content, and then you can batch upload your files here. So you can upload a new new MP3 here. Once it's loaded up completely, you you wait for the green bar to check out completely. So for instance, let's assume that you're uploading this. It is going to load. It's going to be green, and then you leave it just a moment. And then it turns back to white so once it's in this format you can just simply click done and then you would look for it here in your file manager so you come down to your file manager click on the arrow pointing downwards scroll to the bottom and you should see it there awesome so that is how you re-upload your course content to your existing seller course